Okay, so the G minor. Let's start out with what a G is. A G is a... Or there's the barred version. So if I want a minor, I need that note to, to go. I need a note to change. So I go... So it's... So now it's a minor since it's... That's one way to figure it out. But it's a B flat in the bass, so it's not a... It's a... That's the... So that's the end note, so... Um, actually, from playing other things, I know that I can do a, a G minor with the B flat and the bass uh, over here. I can do a... See, it's the same notes, and... So I can go from my D to my G minor chord, so I do... that out um, and since I was stumbling around with the the G minor with the B flat up here the so I still have my my G string still right and um, um, and to make that whole chord I figured this out mute my A, since I can't play it. I mean, I guess I could try to press it down with my pointer finger, but I think I'd end up muting my other G string, so I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to... I could even kind of do this. And now I've figured out a new way to play a G minor with the B flat in the bass up on the 5th fret, instead, instead of being, you know, stuck down here all the time. And that was something I just stumbled on while I was trying to do things, that's how that worked out, but, um, yeah. But probably with all the other chord changes, it's easier to keep it down here with this song, because, um, say I'm doing the... some of the other chords that are in the song so but yeah keeping it down there kind of keeps everything more fluid with the chord changes I'm going to use I tried it with a capo and I everything I came up with I ended up hitting snags on changes and so it seems like the no capo method might be the best way to play this song that I'm trying to figure out anyway so that's what the progress that I'm making with this song is I just thought I'd share it with you just to um, show you how my when I'm trying to figure out a song, this is kind of the process I have to go through. <laughs>